Grace and mercy and peace belong to you, from God our Father, and from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the candle lighter that our ushers use to light our altar candles before every service at St. Lucas. And when I was a child in our home congregation, we had a, a candle lighter that was very similar. And as, as a young boy, I was always fascinated by the way in which the fire was put out. It was not ever extinguished by blowing it out. It would be simply a, a cutting off of the oxygen. For instance, you would light the candle this way, but then to put out this candle, you would not blow it out. You would simply pull down on the wick down here until the oxygen is cut off and the light goes out. Likewise with the altar candle, the dignified way of extinguishing that flame after the end of the service is not by blowing it out, but rather by using this end to cut off the oxygen. And the fire goes out. That was just something always that, that that fascinated me when I was very young, and I would have a chance to to see this up close if my if my dad happened to be serving as usher that particular Sunday. It can also be a reminder to you and me of of how the devil, not that there was intended. For, for this kind of illustration for this candle holder, but it does remind us of a way in which the, the devil can extinguish or at least weaken the light of our faith. One way that the devil can try to do that is, and let's light this once again, is simply by gently cutting off the oxygen, the source of oxygen of our faith, and when we remember that at the end of the day, the oxygen for our faith is not in ourselves, we do not give fuel for our faith in Jesus Christ. That comes only from God the Holy Spirit. And the tools that God the Holy Spirit has chosen to use to fuel our faith. He's very clear about that too. It's the gospel in the form of God's word and the sacraments. Holy baptism and holy communion. And so if the devil can find a way to pull us away from God the Holy Spirit and the ways in which he fuels our faith, if he can find ways to cut us off from the oxygen that fuels our faith in Jesus Christ, not immediately, not right away, but little by little, if he can pull us away and pull us away and pull us away from the thing that fuels our faith, eventually the danger is there for the light to go out. Thanks be to God that we have a Lord who loves us with a fiery, zealous love. A, a, a love so zealous and so fiery that it drove him to go to the cross on our behalf and to wash away our every sin. And now as our risen Savior, he sends the Holy Spirit to pursue us through his word and sacrament doing what he has to do, always to call us to repentance, to wake us up, 
when needed to remind us all over again that the oxygen for our faith is not something you and I generate. Rather, it's God the Holy Spirit feeding our faith and strengthening our faith through the gospel in word and sacraments. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God's Word from Psalm 51 Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your free spirit. The Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.